Hey guys, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com and this is part two of my video and this video is going to be about uh, talking about fixing electromechanical ball bowlers and some of the things that can go wrong with them and what to do about fixing them and hopefully this video will help somebody that's restoring a ball bowler and trying to get it up and running or you own one and it's causing it has some symptoms and you're not sure how to fix it. So um, we're going to go ahead and look at this. So this is an 11 foot United Bowling Alley, 1956 United. It's a small ball bowler, 11 footer. And it's a coffin style, as you can see. It's, uh, the coffin opens up, you can see the lane sort of tilted back and the pin deck up there and all that, as you can see. So we, for the purposes of this video, we already went and opened it up. Um, so let's talk about the bowler. Uh, what do you do if you get a coin mechanism and the dime goes in the top here and it and you can't, uh, it doesn't go through the mech? Well, you can open it up here like this. You see that? And uh, and then you can reach your hand in here and clear the, uh, you can go ahead and clear the uh, dime out. So that's a way to clear the dime. All the, all the machines have plugs. It's very important. See how these plugs plug in here, and this plugs comes all the way up from the uh, back side of the machine out front. It's very important that you clean all these plugs with a wire brush. Clean them really good because they get oxidized, and then clean inside the female end. Um, if you don't do that, you'll get poor continuity or connectivity, and your machine won't work properly. Okay, here's the guts of your bowler. Okay, and we'll talk about what we're looking at here. This series of switches, okay, it's a relay bank. There's a huge coil down there, and this resets all the different pins. As you can see, they're labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay. Right, then you have rollover switch control, 1 through 10. This is a very important switch stack. These, these switches in here make and break by when they're activated from the uh, down below. You can see how that goes down. There's a little coil in there on a plate with a spring underneath there and it fires and then it resets. These switches in here all have to be cleaned and filed and gapped properly. So then after that you have the first shot, second shot, and game over. So this whole bank you can actually unscrew it and tilt it up so you can get it standing up you have to unwire the coil to do this, but you can pull the little screws on the ends and actually stand this bank up and then you can get in there and clean all those switches and check and see if they're making and breaking. That's a really important thing. So that took a good no, 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 10, 10 hours to go through that to do it right. I file all the switches, I regap them. I use non-acetone uh, nail polish remover with Q-tips and I go through each switch probably Spend two or three Q-tips until I don't get any blackness. It gets them nice and clean and shiny. So that's what we do. We check all the switch stacks here, all the screws. Make sure they're snug, not loose. Check the wiring. Okay, and here on the back side, see if there's anything coming loose. It's a lot of work just to do that part of it. Okay, let's move on over here. These are all strike spare unit, step up units. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. One for each player. What can happen is, is when you're doing these uh, games, these bake-like boards on the front here get warped and they actually bow in, which causes this little arm down here, see this arm, when it moves up the step-up unit, to not make good connection on these little tracers. So to solve that problem, because you will have a problem these, these are always bowed and bending. Even if you bend the little fingers on the end and you, you bend them in to make good contact, they will still not function properly. So what you do is you go out and buy these little pieces of wood Okay, at the hardware store. Have them cut five inches long, half inch wide, three quarter inch in width. Okay? And you stick them in between the metal plate and the bake light board. And what that does is, 
it allows this board to be pushed out so it makes good contact with the wiper blade that's moving up with the little fingers on it. You see how I have each one of those in there? We had a scoring issue where we would get two strikes then the third strike it would give me 30 points but then intermittently sometimes it would give me 20 points or 10 points. It's supposed to give you 30 every time if you're holding two strikes. If you bowl a third strike you should get 30 points so on and so forth. What we found was is that these were not making good continuity or connection. Sometimes they would, sometimes they won't. When we put these little boards in here, it solved the problem. No more issues. Okay, over here, your lock relay. This gets turned, when, when they turn on the machine, this energizes. This coil always stays energized. And then you have a coin relay, player reset relay, uh, 1 through 9 score relay for the score reel, 10 through 90 score relay, relay, extra shot, unit relay, spare strike advance, so on and so forth. All these relays, same thing that we did on this bank back here. You have to go through each one of these and, and, and let me study the camera here. You see how when this coil fires here, this little plate gets pushed in, right? And that makes those switches close. See how those close? Open, close, make, break. You have to make sure each one of these switches and all these different relays here all have to, their points have to be filed and I also clean them with the Q-tips. Check on the back side, there's springs here. I don't know if you can see that. Each one has a spring. If these springs are weak and broken, guess what? This little plate can't push in to open and close the switch and there's also an adjustment on the end of the plate with a needle nose pair of pliers you can either move that little circular piece of metal that folds over move it out or in to adjust the plate so those are very important okay let's go over here probably the most important part of the game is this score motor the score motor helps the game uh, score the game so in order to make this function properly there's two things you really got to do um, you got to clean, again, all the switches in the switch stack here that go around this metal circular drum with little rivets cut out. And as it goes around, it makes these things open and close. So there's different um, information sheets on each one. It tells you what they do. So you need to clean all those switches, clean them, file them, make sure that they're uh, gapped properly, and make sure that your disc is in the zero position. We have it marked with a yellow with a yellow uh, paint on the end. Over here is the is the little finger that goes around the Bakelite board. You've got to take this off with the set screw, clean the whole board, okay, and you want to lube up the inner shaft in here and put it back together. Make sure when you put this back on you don't push it all the way in, it's got to set up just a little bit off it. Then do your set screw. And again, you could see where there's a mark to show you where the zero position is. So that's important. One of the things we did was is we pulled this whole assembly apart, okay, and we drilled out the uh, rivets on the motor and cleaned all the dried grease and gunk in there. Okay, there's three gears in there, and now it works great. Uh, how do you do that? Well, basically, you pull the hand off here, take the two screws here, and that separates this board from, from here. Then what you do is you pull the set screw. There's a set screw on the uh, disc here, and that'll allow you to take this disc off. And then you can take this apart and actually get the motor out of here to service it. Um, over here is your power supply, and these are your, these are your um, fuses. You want to check, make sure you have good fuse holders. If you're not, you can go to Radio Shack and buy new fuse holders and put it in. Check all your fuses. So that's the bottom board. That's a lot of work. Then coming over here, you have the bottom rollover switches. All these need to be cleaned, filed, adjusted, and gapped properly. There's some more male and female plugs right here. Those need to come out and be cleaned. And one of the most important switches is right here. When you open this up, you see how this opens up? Um, we're going to go to part two because we're running out of time. Go to part two of fixing EM ball bowlers.